agricultural frost protection fabric this is where it all begins first of all it's made from 100 percent virgin polypropylene resins brought in from various uh, suppliers throughout the world what you're seeing here is some from US mills some from Iranian mills and various other countries the polypropylene is then put into these mixers which they call batchers the resins are then fed in through a vacuum system into the ovens on the bottom of these uh, extruders the um, once the resins are melted they're sprayed into these uh, chambers and but depending on the thickness of the spray depends on the thickness of the material coming out of the extruders a thinner spray a thinner gauge of material here you see in the uh, final products exiting out of the uh, extruder onto a rewind station or roll there are a total of uh, six of these extruders uh, in the facility and they can range in width from 3.2 meters and less, less. There's the latest and newest uh, extruder where they can double laminate, take two fabrics and laminate them together to create a A different type <laughs> this here what you're looking at is a rewind station taking the bulk rolls from the extruders putting them into rewind station to roll down to the finish lengths the bulk rolls could contain numerous finish rolls Here's just a few shots of some other processes. This is a automatic folder for other products like tablecloths and um, sheets for the uh, the hospitals, etc. We're now in the building where the. Uh, frost blanket is assembled to meet the width of the order what you're seeing here is the bulk rolls these will all be placed on these cre uh, creos of the uh, gluing machine line there's five creos and we can uh, four glue double glue line machines two on each side of the line so they can uh, put together in one pass five um, 3.2 meter wide panels which would give us up to um, 15 meters wide material what you're seeing here is one of the glue machines glue is injected through small tubular lines down here at the end you should be able to see the finished glue lines There's a cooling system just past the uh, glue machines, which, which cools the glue. And here you're seeing the finished glue lines on the product, consistently in width, each glue line. This has become your bulk roll, and from there, from we'll be moving once they've created their bulk roll it'll be moved over to a rewind station there's the rewind station you'll see the bulk roll there and it's being rewound on to the finished length which is much tighter as you can see from the bulk roll once rewound they wrap the uh, finished roll with a clear plastic and then again with a second 
plastic and green. And then it would be just finished packaging and uh, labeled. As you can see here. <coughs> 